Hi guys, welcome to this module. In this module we're going to look at the match function with an if statement, the is an a function and the index function. First of all, the match function. In this cell I've got the match function which is looking at cell B2 which is this yellow cell. It's looking down a named range called last week which is highlighted there and it is looking for an exact match. So I just tick that formula. One, two, three, four, five is not in that list, so it is returning not applicable. The next one down is looking at B3. B3, one, two, one, two is in this list. You can see it there. So that is returning the position, the number, the position of it in the list. So that's what the match function does looks down a list for a number and the zero means return an exact match so if I just type that one out for you just delete that one off and then see uh, so you can see the wizard so I'm going equals match looking at cell B2 then I'm looking down list the list last week And when I do a comma, it's giving me these options. I want an exact match. Close the bracket. Click the tick. Not there. Now the is an A function just returns true or false. So basically, is cell E2 returning NA? If it is, true. If it is not, false. So that's all that does. True or false. And then we have a have an is statement which looks for true. So if cell F2 says true, it would be a new number. If it says false, it would be the same. So that says false, so it's the same. That's what the three functions do in isolation. This is what they look like together. So all of it together. So I'm just going to delete that one and type it out again. So I'm going to start off with a match function. If well, match b2 equals match, I should say, b2 looking down last week. And looking for an exact match. So if I tick that, we'll get NA. That's what, that's what we've got there. Then in front of that, I'm going to put is NA. Open the bracket. So is all of that, does all of that return NA? Close that. Tick that one. It comes with true. And then in front of that, I'm going to do if all of that comes back with true, comma, then it must be a new number, otherwise it is the same. We'll close the if bracket at the end. And it returns new, which is correct, as shown there. So that is the match function with an if statement and the is an a function. Now to look at that with the index function going on to the next sheet, so I've got some named ranges here. So first of all, this area I've called data. This area of months I've called months. This area of activities I've called exercise. I've also called this single cell month and this single cell activity. I've also called this green cell green and this red cell red. So the index function needs an intersection to return a figure or an item. So I'm using the match function to get me that intersection. So the first match, match function, the green one, is looking at the month, October. 
So it's looking for October within the range months. Months. October is in the 10th position of this list. And I've got it highlighted yellow for you. If I change that to a different month, June. June is in the 6th position of this list. Now in the red cell, I'm looking at activity, which is running at the moment. But if I change that to something else, weights. Weights is in the fifth position of this list, exercise. So I'm just using these two match functions to get me a number. In this case, six and five. The index function requires numbers. So instead of having green and red, I could have had six and five, and it would still give me the correct answer. Just going to undo that. So the index function is looking at the named range data. It's using the green number for the row intersection and the red number for the column intersection. So data, green, red. Data, row six, column five. And then if I change any of these, those numbers will change. Therefore, the intersection will change. Now, obviously, I have just put that there to show you how this works. What I could have done is put it all together in one function. So here you have data, the named range. The named range and then the first match function getting the row intersection and the second match function getting the column intersection so whichever way you do it you get the same result and that is an example of the match function the index function with an if statement and the is an A function. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, please subscribe below. Thank you for your time.